Good day everyone, you're welcome to Time Out with Chris Keys and me. So if the root key is the key of C, moving the tone interval will go to D, moving the tone interval will go to E, a semitone will go to F, a tone G, a tone A, a tone B, and a semitone C. Now, so my first my daughter understand the movement of tone and semitone, I want you to check our next video on intervals. You understand that tone and semitone intervals is just the basic interval we have. We have different kind of intervals. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to more on intervals on our, on our previous video. Is it previous or next? On one of our videos. Just check on one of our videos. You see the video on intervals. So, one TTS, TTS. Do that on all the keys. When you get that on C, go to C sharp. On D. E flat. On all the keys. After doing that, then you get to harmony because that's melody. You get to get in the triads, the major triads, the minor triad of all the key. Now you can get that off. The key of C is the major triad. Minor triad, augmented triad, each triad. Of all the keys. Now when you're done with that, there's what we call the major pro pro uh, progression in jazz and gospel music, which is the 4-5-1. That's what we call, that's what we call, that's what we refer to as the fa so do You get that on all the keys too. That's what see we have. That should be the first thing you, you, you can play on all the keys. After getting that, if you want to go further, you can get um, you can get the 12 bar blues of all the keys, something like Then after doing that, the other thing that you should work on is that key that you can play on very well, beat F sharp, beat C, beat um, C sharp, anything that you can do on your original key, learn to do it on the 12 keys. That was my secret. That was what I did. At least I used the whole night to do that. And I'm up, up to date, I up to date, I still rehearse that to get the best out of it. So if I could play. If, if I could play a scale like this on the key of F, I should be able to play it on the key of F sharp. On the key of G. On the key of G sharp. Anything I can do on any other keys. By doing this, you'll be improving your, your acquaintance to all the keys, and I tell you, you will be good. You will be very good. It's paramount. So that's, that's for how to stop um, using the transpose button. I, I know this video has helped you. If it has, you can click on the comment box below. Ask your questions. Don't forget to drop your questions. 
and click on the subscribe button and also click the bell to get notifications on our next video. Thank you very much and amen, Christians. God bless you.